Hello everyone, it's Leo, and in this video I'm going to show you my 10 favorite cards from the Precure Puzzle game. Precure Puzzle is a puzzle game and it's mobile and it's available in Japan, but people all around the world have found their ways of playing it. But unfortunately, this game is going to be terminated in June. Uh, it's not going to be updated anymore, it's not going to be available in the, the stores anymore. But until then, you can still play it, you can win lots of diamonds and get lots of different cards. I particularly don't play this game anymore. I used to play this when it was released, I think it was in like the Kira Kira era, if I'm not mistaken. And I used to play this. It's a very hard game. Like, I'm not good at puzzle games and this one is very, very hard. Especially, there are some stages that I was like, girl. Uh, but you know, in general, it's a very nice game. And what happened to me was that uh, I used to play this. I had lots of great cards. I had a Yukari card that I absolutely loved. But then my cell phone got stolen and I couldn't play it anymore. Like I had to download, uh, I would have to download the game and start it all over again. And I said, girl, I'm not doing that at all. And so I've never played it anymore. But one thing I really like about this game is that it keeps us updated. It gives us new arts of all of the characters of the franchise, characters that don't appear in All Stars anymore, characters we don't see in merchandise anymore. We see them in this game in form of cards, and you can play with every cure up to date, like the main cures, and you know, like this is the thing I am going to miss. But here I decided to choose my 10 favorites. I didn't rank them. Those are just the 10 I like the most and I couldn't rank them, it's very hard. Uh, and before I start, I just wanna say that I'm going to do another video, which is uh, a video of the puzzle cards with the pics of the people that were in the live stream. I did a live stream here on the channel. If you'd like to participate, I usually do them on Saturdays before the Precure episode, at least here in Brazil time, it's on Saturdays. And I usually do live streams um, during the week as well, during the night, especially now that we're quarantined. Uh, so if you'd like to subscribe to the channel so that YouTube can notificate you when, um, notify you, I think, I'm sorry, uh, when, you, when we have a live stream going on and you can join. So there is also going to be a second video on the puzzle and cards based on the votes of the people that were in the live stream. It was a lot of fun. Anyways, let's start. The first card is this Aoi card. I have my notebook right here so that I can look at the cards while we talk. And I absolutely love it. You know, one thing I love about Aoi is her style. She's so stylish. I absolutely adore it. And I obviously love the fact that she's a singer. And one thing I really like about this card is that it's a, it's a Christmas card, but at the same time, uh, Aoi isn't using the usual Christmas colors, the traditional Christmas colors, you know, green and red. She's using blue, which is her color, in a Christmas-styled costume, and I absolutely love it. It has her personality, it has her color, and it's Christmassy, which I love. I'm a very festive person. Learned that with Mariah Carey. Next one is this beautiful CL card. You know, when I was choosing the, my favorite cards, I think that I learned that I have a thing for those big dresses. And one of the things I really like about this one is the colors, you know, like the background is very, very beautiful. The tones they chose, they are very beautiful. They're kind of like pastel and there is this tone of green that I absolutely adore, this mint green, watery green. I love it. And this dress is beautiful with roses, a big ribbon and waffles right there. You know, I love this combination of green, this pastel yellow and this brown as well. They look so good. Everything looks perfect. And I love carousels as well. The, usually carousels are very, very beautiful. I love them. Next one is this Elena card. Obviously, Elena couldn't be out of my 10 choices. This is the Elena card that I chose. Uh, Elena has lots of nice cards, but this one, like this one has something special. I really like the fact that she's using something more of a traditional vibe and it's part of her heritage, it's part of her culture, and I just adore it. You know, she's my girl, she is the one I absolutely adore, and this card, it really, I think it shows a lot who she, of who she is. And I just love her smile, she looks awesome. Oh my god, I just love it. Next one is this Hachan card. Hachan is 
the cutest and I just love this. Hachen also has lots of great cards and I think that this one, uh, it's it has this peaceful feeling that she embodies sometimes even though she's kind of hyper too. <laughs> and you know, I just love the colors as well. I love this, the tones that of green they use on her and how they contrast with the paint they use as well. So I really like that. And you know, this, uh, the, the hanging with the flowers, with the, those uh, red, red, those yellow kind of white-ish roses, so beautiful and the animals and you know, just peaceful around her in the flower bed. I love this card. Next one is this one that was released in when the game uh, was celebrating two years and in it we have the girls from Start to Winkle, the main girls from Start to Winkle, Hugto and Kira Kira. And you know the three of the three of them are simply adorable. I love the three. I love Hikaru. I absolutely love Hikaru. You guys know how much I love her and look how happy she is right on top of the cake. She's celebrating that moment and obviously we have our two girls that I also love, um, Hana and Ichika. I, you know, this is just crazy. I just love this card. It's so beautiful. You know, like the colorization of all of the cards in general are very nice. You know, they look kind of pastel and I just adore it. You know, it's it's really sad that this game is ending, you know, because we, we won't have those cards anymore. I hope that they're gonna have another type, gacha type of game, maybe battle-ish, but you know, this is something that we're gonna miss. And now this one is probably my favorite card ever. I don't know, but you know, one of the things I, like this card, when, when it was released, it stayed as the wallpaper of my cell phone for quite some time. I just love it. You know, it's a very simple card. It's Iona in a Tanabata festival and she's just there hanging her wish there in the bamboo uh, and you know the starry sky behind her and I love this costume. I love this costume. You know, if I were to wear a dress like this one day, I would love it. You know, I just don't have this type of body, but I would love to wear something like this one day of my life. Who knows? Who knows, right? I would just I love it. You know, this is probably my favorite card ever. You know, it's very simple. It's very clean. I just love it. Next one is this Minami card and, you know, wow. It's just incredible. You know, her playing the violin, which is an instrument I absolutely love. And, you know, I love how the camera is like upwards and, you know, just focusing down and it looks like she's a very tall and elegant woman, which she is. I not a woman, but a girl. And I just love, you know, the, this flowy blue thing, but she's wearing so beautiful. And the dress as well. Like everything in this card just screams iconic to me. Next one, I couldn't stay without Yukari, the queen. And I just, like, as I said, big dresses are something that amuse me. And this one with the purple roses and the thing she's wearing in her head as well, the headpiece. Girl, that is so beautiful. And the gloves, you know, everything creates such a dramatic effect. The branches behind her with the stars hanging and the castle in the background. Everything about this card to me also screams iconic. I, I'm just in love, you know, Yukari girl, you're just incredible. Yukari, you can't, you can't be like more incredible than Yukari because she is a queen, she, she slays. You know, she slays a lot. And now we have the Yuko card. This one is, uh, you know, Yuko is legendary. She is the craziest cure out there. She's the most random cure out there. And you know, this card, it has a lot to do with honey, which is her as well. And, you know, I just love it. And, you know, one thing we can see in this card is the the honey, um, the honey drops she had in the season that she gave lots of people. You know, uh, it had pink wrappings usually in the season itself, but here they are transparent. But, you know, it's, a, I think, I think it is, I don't know. But it's probably a callback to who Yuko is and who she, what, the, the role she played in the season. I just love this card. I just, like, th I just really believe Yuko, she is a queen. She's legendary as well. 
I just love her. And as we were talking about in the live stream, I believe that Yuko, she is probably the one that has the most interesting cards. Like every single card of hers is nice. And she's fashionable, she's funny, she's different, she's crazy. Yuko girl, you're it. And now last but not least, Yudi. Just look at this. Just look at this. Do, do you know what re this reminds me of? That episode of Sailor Moon, that part of Sailor Moon that they were fighting Telu, uh, one of the witches five, the, the green one, and they were fighting that her in a in a place like this, in a flower. I don't know what to call it in English, but they were fighting her in a place like that. And um, I remember that when Sailor Pluto appeared, she attacked and lots of petals just went scattering because of her power and, and because of where they were. And it reminds me a lot of this card. I think Yudi was just there watching the girls fight and she was like, girl, if I jumped right there, it would be way easier for you to win against her. You know, like she is incredibly beautiful. The dress as well, it's something that slays. I just can't, you know, I, how flowy she looks. You know, uh, like the hair is flowing, the dress is flowing, the petals are scattering around, the moonlight is coming down, obviously. I just love it, you know, it's just incredible. It's incredibly beautiful. I, I'm in love, you know, and as I said before, it makes me sad this game is ending because we won't see beautiful arts like these. Probably not. Maybe if we receive a new game, but probably not. So those are my 10 choices, not ranked, but you know, those are some of the cards that are like legendary to me and just wait for the next video uh, in which I'm going to share the choices of the live stream. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.